Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Ultra Sun, where we're doing a Nuzlocke run and we're here in the Pokemon League with three of the four Elite Four down. So let's go beat the last one and uh, yeah, we've got Gene out front just like he needs to be. Hey, it's this person who we've seen once before in this game and if this was the original Sun, we would have seen zero times before. Like, seriously, even in this game, they didn't build her up very well. But at least it's better than the last one, where they didn't build her up at all. Uh-huh. Sure. Hope you're ready for them to lose. team is going to get so zapped. Though, just for safety's sake, well, not really safety, but to increase my odds. Ooh. That could be bad. Please survive it. Okay, we're fine. But we can't take two of those. Unless we use an X defense as well. Just don't crit. Do not crit. Please don't crit. Okay, thank goodness. So now we get to use the full restore. And from this point on, we basically eat one attack, use a Thunderbolt, repeat. Oh, scary face? Seriously? Well, so much for the X speed. I guess we just get to Thunderbolting. Yeah, we can take Brave Bird no problem if it doesn't crit now. was really hoping I'd be able to outspeed the thing, but oh well. Dark flying is just as weak to Thunderbolt as normal flying. Normal flying is just as weak to Thunderbolt as normal flying. Oh. Uh, please no murders. Please no murder. Just, just don't do a murder. That's all I ask. Let my bug live. Wow, way to not even be flapping. Thank goodness. Like, the fact that Pokemon don't do any animations during Z-moves is really silly. Like, especially there, because it's supposed to be flying up in the sky while it's just standing with its wings folded in. What? Forgot that was a fire type bird. Oh no. Well, Mike can handle a fire bird. Didn't expect it to do that much. So we're down to four for this lady and the champ. Thankfully, this lady's almost done. Are you serious? Please don't flinch me again. Oh, you're going to confuse me then, are you? That's not much better. Don't hurt yourself. 
Good. Get that thing out of here. Thankfully, we do have some very good Pokemon still left to us. Okay, Hawlucho. I don't think Mike really has too much to fear from one of those. And Ice Fang. Don't you chop his throat. Like, where do you even chop for that? Okay, so she is almost certainly going to use a full restore, but if we just use Ice Fang here... Oh, just a full heal? Dang. You should have used a full restore, lady. Could have let you not lose so fast. Yeah, it is. Okay, so... On the assumption that we're going to be fighting Hao, because we haven't fought him in a long time, I'm going to not have Mainframe out front, because he's almost certainly going to have his Decidueye. So, yeah. And he's also got a Raichu, so I can't have Mike out front either. So I guess we need to have Noi Noi out front. That's our safest option. This is all assuming that Hao is the champion. Which he probably is. But we've got no guarantees. Could be Kukui again. In which case, rather than Decidui, he would have Primarina. Uh, yeah, let's let's see if we can get anything useful from a Roto Lotto. Not really. All right, let's see who we got. That chair is mine! So it's Kukui. And what's up with how? Is it how or is it you? It's you. Okay, oh. Okay, so it is how. Okay. What's up, Hal? What? Uh, is it that you're not really that great at Pokemon battles and you don't want to battle me? Oh, okay. Sure. Hope you're ready to lose, kid. That means that this is going to be the final episode of this challenge. Yep, he's starting with Raichu. Made the right call not putting Mike out front. So, let's go ahead and just flamethrower it. Er, hmm. What do I want to do? I could Draco Meteor, but then if he brings out Decidueye, we're going to want this thing out front anyway. Eh, let's Draco Meteor it. See if we can get rid of this thing, and maybe he'll throw out not Decidueye. There goes Raichu. That's one real concern down for Mike. Crabominable. Yeah, we'll swap for that. Mainframe can handle Crabominable, no problem.
And the best Crabominable can really do is neutral. But I believe we'll probably outspeed it, and then Hammer Arm's just gonna do unkind things to it. Oh, not quite as unkind as I expected. Oh, but he's using Ice Hammer rather than... Wow, it's seriously just an ice version of Hammer Arm? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, bye. Ah, there's your Noivern, huh? So that thing might know Flamethrower, but it might also know how to die to Meteor Mash. Ooh, Dark Pulse! Okay, thankfully it's not strong enough to really concern us. But let's go ahead and swap over to Mike. Because if it does no flamethrower, then that would just be really, really bad for us. Unfortunately, it's not a physical attacker, so that Intimidate does nothing for us. Okay, Noivern is going away now. Or it's using Dragon Pulse and then going away. Okay, Crab Ominimal's coming back, which means Mainframe's also coming back, because, again, we outspeed it. So we have nothing to worry about here. And since it'll probably be using Ice Hammer, we can go ahead and use this as an opportunity to heal, because Ice Hammer won't do much. Yep, there it is. And we are fine. In fact, we're fine enough that I can also use this chance to heal Mike. And why not? One more. Okay, time to get rid of that crab. We'll use Meteor Mash, just in case he sends out something next that we want to keep Mainframe in for. Tauros. Yeah, Mainframe can handle Tauros, no problem. Actually, it might know Earthquake. It probably knows Earthquake. But it might also know, like, Rockhead or something. So let's hammer arm it and just hope that... Yeah, there's Earthquake. Hopefully it won't do enough. Mainframe does have a lot of defense. Okay, we're fine. Almost got rid of it. Thankfully, Mike doesn't have any worries about Earthquake. So now let's just go ahead and use an Aqua Tail. Ooh, Double Edge. Oh, Double Edge. Oh, 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 ah, ah. Okay, Decidueye's incoming. Time for Noi Noi. Wow. Uh, good job living, Mike. You. Wow. I am uh, very glad he didn't die there. Oh, look at that. It's a grassy MZ. What do you want to bet this thing's got a grass type move? Yeah, let's see if we can just hit with Hurricane. Nope. Well then, Hurricane's not likely to miss twice. So much for your Z-move, buddy. You shackled in a dragon. 
That's like saying, please don't let me use my Z move. Can we switch? If we can, do we even really want to? I mean, I guess Mike would be good against Vaporeon. We'll just need to heal him first. Okay, good. It's just he was only blocked from switching out while Decidueye was there. Unfortunately, Vaporeon is actually fairly bulky. So this could get annoying. Seriously, if you're using quick attacks, this is going to be a little easier than I expected. Also, wait, you're on your last Pokemon? Dang. I'm sorry, kid. Oh! Okay, we are not going to be able to bring it down with Mike. Not without using far too many PP restoring things. Unless we get some really clutch crits. But, I mean, this is our last stone edge, so even if it crits, yeah. Okay, we need to swap out to somebody who can handle a water type. But first, since we know Mike can take the beating... We're just going to go ahead and slap some heals on the other two. Not using Poindexter just because he's too low level, and I don't expect that he'd really be able to make too much headway. But then again, it might be worth trying. Yeah, let's go ahead and let Poindexter enter combat for once. Unfortunately, he's still holding the Eevee Light, which is doing nothing for him, but it's the same as holding nothing. Okay, that hurts, but it is resisted, so that's fine. Um, let's do a Sludge Wave. Hopefully get a poison out of it. Oh, you poor sweet child. Also, seriously, you've got two moves that just lower attack? How? I knew you were bad at Pokemon, but that bad? Seriously, he's got Baby Doll Eyes and Charm, both moves that just lower attack. It's just one has priority. Come on, kid. Learn to Pokemon. There's no need to double up on that kind of thing. All right, so we win. Yeah, a few more steps than one, buddy. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. I guess so. Sure. So how does this let everyone know that? Like, I'm supposed to be from Kanto, so Alolan trainers? What? And also, I just fought another Alolan guy. That doesn't prove that Alola is the best. It just proves that someone from Kanto using Alolan Pokemon can beat another person from Alola. Uh, it was more than just Noi Noi. I can at least give the credit to Mainframe. He's the one who carried me through most of the game. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not. In the story, sure, but... Good job, Noi Noi. You did well. Lara, you will be missed. Good job, Mike. You did well, especially surviving that double edge. Gene, you will be missed. Good job, Mainframe. You carried me through like most of the game. And good job, Poindexter. You did that one battle. You beat one Pokemon ever.
Thanks. Can I, like, go to the credits now? Please? Oh, gotta, gotta do the happy pose. Got it. Oh. Hey, folks. How's it going? Um, yeah. But some of them died because some of the people standing next to you are terrible jerks. Olivia, you're okay. How dare you kill my bug? Like, wasn't Jean the first Pokemon we caught? That's sad. I prefer a volt switch. Sure. Is it going to make us fight Tapu Koko before we have control again? I bet it is. Hey. hey. It wasn't hugely different from the original Pokemon Sun, but what changes they made to Pokemon Ultra Sun were good. Like, SOS battles were significantly less common, which I appreciate so much. I still don't like that mechanic, but having it be less prevalent is great. The changes they made to certain trials improved them. Um, there was one that I didn't like so much. I don't remember which one it was. But for the most part, yeah, this is a better game than the original Sun. It's got some additional content, some slightly altered content. It's not hugely different. I expected a bit more difference. I was really hoping for something on the level of Pokemon White 2. But what we got was good. Like, yeah. If you haven't played the original Sun or Moon, I would definitely suggest starting with Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon and just skipping the originals. There's very, very little reason to play them now. But I gotta say, I'm looking forward to whatever Pokemon game they put on the Switch uh, this year or next. Oh, snap, he's now an ex-skull. Also, I'm kind of sad that I got so overconfident in a few of my really good Pokemon and then lost most of them. Like, we got to keep mainframe, which is great, but... We lost Lara, we lost our uh, Glycopod, Wanda. Uh, yeah. We lost quite a few Pokemon that I would have liked to keep. But that's just part of a Nuzlocke run, and we still managed to win through. Thanks largely to Mainframe. Also, what the heck are you doing, Zygarde?
Oh, so now we've got her in the back doing her thing? Because in the older games, it was, uh, what's his name? Nanu. Where are you going, kid? I actually do prefer how they treated uh, Lusamine in this game. Like, they had her feel more villainous, but they gave her at least a little bit better redemption. Because, like, instead of just being a broken person who needs to be taken to Unova for treatment or whatever, now she gets that little getting to see her kid off thing. So we are going to fight it, aren't we? Oh, guess not. That's fine by me. fireworks. Yeah. Sure. Good luck, kid. Yeah, not gonna happen. I'm hanging up my laurels. Uh, please don't, don't make me throw out some corpses. That would be bad. Don't you dare throw out the corpses. off screen so we can just imagine that the corpses were not sent out. And ugh, why? Why gumshoes? Get that thing out of here. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. That that ruins the game. 0 out of 10. Like, seriously, just, it's terrible. Thank you for leaving. See, this is better. Oh, is it just going to be all the totems? That's kind of neat. But again, uh, should have not had gumshoes. So if I was playing Ultra Moon, it probably would have been an Eradicate, huh? Yeah, probably.
It's actually kind of neat seeing all these sprites. Almost makes me wish that the game was in 2D instead of 3D. Like, it's very competent 3D, but like, there's just some personality that they can get out of sprite animation that they can't really get from the 3D models that they made. Also, I'm sure if it was all 2D sprites instead of 3D models, we wouldn't be having the massive frame drops during double battles. Just a thought. Even in a turn-based game, frame drops can still be bothersome. So are we going to actually go through all the totems? That would be kind of neat, but also kind of long if they're each getting this much screen time. I still wish they would just stop making more electric rodents. Just acknowledge that you've already got Pikachu. You haven't released a game without Pikachu in a while. You're not gonna release a game without Pikachu for a long time, probably. Just let Pikachu be the thing. Mimikyu's okay because it's kind of turning the concept on its head. But, yeah, just stop trying to copy Pikachu. No one's going to like the new Pikachu type thing as much as they like Pikachu. Nobody is. So just stop trying to make new Pikachus. It's not going to work. Was that seriously the next totem after Mimikyu? I guess it was. Huh. That means we've actually only got one more totem. Kind of odd that Ribombi came after uh, Como. Because, like, in terms of base stats, one of them is definitely better than the other. But then again, it had the totem boost to make up for that. Yeah, altogether, Pokemon Ultra Sun is pretty good. Definitely weakened by having played Sun before, but still pretty good. Like, I wouldn't recommend someone who played Sun to rush out and buy Ultra Sun. It's not that much of an improvement, but it's better enough that there's at least something there for you. And if you haven't played regular Sun or Moon, then yeah, definitely rush out and buy these. They're the best Pokemon games yet made. Just, well, not so sure about that. Black 2 and White 2 are a really high hurdle to climb over. But Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, they're pretty dang good. There's a lot of things they do right. So yeah. That certainly was a game. And we were doing much better at the end than we did in our Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke run. Yep, that is the game that we just played. Is there going to be uh, another post-credits thing where we have to go see off Lily? I doubt it, because Lily's reason for leaving was mostly because her mother. Oh, 
there's something going on. Oh, it's it's a the end screen. Okay. But we're not quite done yet. Oh wow, it actually kicks us all the way out to the title. But we're not quite done. There's still one last task for us. Also, apparently this is happening. Yeah, hey, buddy. Yeah, sure. We're there. But I don't want to do all this post-game stuff. My run's pretty much over. Oh, it's them. Hey, folks. Uh, thanks. Square. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, don't you worry about it. I'm sure it'll solve itself. Yeah. All right, leave it to him. I, uh, I, I nominate him as my delegate. Uh, go to him whenever you need Pokemon-related stuff. Nope. Okay, bye. So, our last mission is to lay to rest our fallen friends. Lara, you fought admirably while we had you, and I'm glad we did. Rest well. And Jean, I'm pretty sure you're the first, first Pokemon we caught, and you were the last Pokemon we lost. It's a nice book ending, but I wish it didn't have to happen. Rest well. And with that, this run and this video series are officially concluded. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing, and I will see you in the next game, friends.